During this tutorial, we are going to practice applying exponent rules as we simplify expressions. This expression reads x to the third power times x to the third power times y to the second power times y to the third power. One way we can understand how to simplify this expression is by writing each one of these terms in expanded form. So if we took x to the third power, which is really just x multiplied by itself three times, that would be x times x times x. And then we have a multiplication sign here, followed by x to the third power, which in expanded form is x times x times x times y to the second power, which is y times y in expanded form. And at the end here, we have y to the third power. So we are going to write that three times. Now, if you take a look at this entire expression in expanded form, you would see that we have six x's in a row. Because x is being multiplied by itself six times, we can write that as x to the sixth power. And we have y being multiplied by itself five times, so we may write that as y to the fifth power. So after simplifying this expression, we would get x to the sixth power times y to the fifth power. Whenever you are multiplying like bases, all you really have to do is add the exponents of those like bases. So what we could have done was just written this x one time, and then we could have taken these two exponents, the 3 and the 3, and added those together. And that would give us a total of x to the 6th power. And the same thing for the y. We could have taken this like base, which is y, written it one time, and then taken these two exponents and add them together. So y to the 2nd power times y to the 3rd power would be y to the 5th power. So when multiplying like bases, just take the exponents and add them together. Let's try another example. Now, just like the first example, we could take this expression and write it out in expanded form. So we could write 2 times x to the third power as 2 times x times x times x times 3 times x to the third power which would be 3 times x times x times x times 2y to the second power, which is 2 times y times y times y to the third power, which is y times y times y. Notice that everything we wrote out here in expanded form is being multiplied. And the commutative property of multiplication states that it doesn't matter what order you multiply things in, you will still get the same answer either way. So let's start by multiplying the coefficients together. We have a 2 here, a 3 here, and a 2 here. 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 2 is 12. And then if you notice, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 x's being multiplied we can shorten that up to x to the sixth power. And we have five y's on the end, so we can write y to the fifth power. And that would be our answer. Now, we really didn't have to write this out in expanded form, but that is always a strategy if you get stuck. If it is all multiplication, all we really have to do is start by multiplying all of the coefficients together so we can just take 2 times 3, which is 6, and 6 times 2, which is 12. And then we can take all of the x's being multiplied and add their exponents. And 3 plus 3 is 6. And then we can add the exponents of the y terms because they are being multiplied together. And that would be y to the fifth power. Now let's try an example that involves division of like bases with exponents. In this example, we have x to the fifth power times y to the third power divided by x to the second power times y. And just like the previous two examples, we can write this expression in expanded form as well. So for the numerator, we have x to the fifth power, and that can be expressed as x times x times x 
times x times x multiplied by y to the third power, which is y times y times y. And all of that is being divided by x to the second power, or x times x times just a single y. Now remember, anything divided by itself is equal to 1. For example, if you had 3 over 3, we know that is equal to 1. Or we can simplify that as 1 over 1. So whenever you have an expression where you have a variable on the top that is the same as the bottom, that just means you are dividing two values that are exactly the same. Just like you would be dividing 3 by 3 or 4 by 4. We have an x up here divided by an x down there. So what we can do is we can cancel out this x and this x and change them both into the number 1. And we have another pair of x's that are being divided together. So we can simplify that to 1 over 1. Even though we don't know what the value of this x is, we know because they are both x's, they both represent the same value. And here we have a y being divided by y. So we can change those both into the number 1. Now we do not have any other variables that we can cancel out. So what we are going to do is just take what we have remaining for our numerator and simplify that. So on the top here we have three x's being multiplied which can be expressed as x to the third power. And we have two y's left over at the top and that would be y to the second power. And on the bottom we have three ones remaining and one times one times one is one. But remember anything divided by one is that thing. So x to the third power times y to the second power divided by one is just x to the third power times y to the second power. Now instead of writing all of this out in expanded form, whenever you are dividing bases that are alike, you can just take their exponents and subtract them. So to apply the exponent rule of subtracting whenever the like bases are being divided is just to write that like term and then we take the exponent at the top and subtract it with the exponent at the bottom. So we would write x and then 5 minus 2 to figure out what the power will be. And for the y terms, we would take the exponent 3 and subtract 1. If you do not see an exponent, remember that exponent is to the first power. And then we can shorten that up to x to the third power because 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. And if you notice, we had 3x's left over for the numerator. And we can simplify the y to y to the second power. And if you notice, we had 2y's left over for the numerator. And that is why you can subtract the exponents together when dividing bases that are the same. Let's try another example. For this problem, we have x squared multiplied by y divided by x to the sixth power times y cubed. So this time, instead of writing it out in expanded form, let's just try applying the exponent rule, which says when you are dividing bases that are the same, you just take their exponents and subtract them. So let's start by writing the variable x, and we have to start with the exponent at the top, which is 2 and subtract the exponent at the bottom, which is 6. And for the y variables, there is a 1 at the top, so we have to take 1 and subtract that with the 3 at the bottom. So if we take 2 minus 6, that would actually give us negative 4. And if we take 1 minus 3, that would give us negative 2. Now you are not allowed to keep negative exponents in your answer. So what we should understand about negative exponents is it really represents a reciprocal. For example, 
Let's take 3 to the second power. We know that it is equal to 9. Now, if we were to take 3 to the negative second power, the answer would just be the reciprocal of 9. And 9 can be expressed as a fraction as 9 over 1, and the reciprocal of 9 over 1 is 1 over 9. So really, this base ends up being written as a denominator. But because we know that this value is 3, we were able to square it. Now, with this example, we do not know the value of x, but we still have to put it down as our denominator. So if we write a fraction bar, we just write the x on the bottom, and then the exponent automatically becomes positive. And for the y value, same thing. And this exponent automatically becomes positive, and there will be a 1 left over at the top. Now, to help understand why this is the answer, let's actually take this original expression and write it out in expanded form. So for the numerator, we have x times x times y. And for the denominator, we have x to the sixth power, which is x times x times x times x times x times x times y to the third power, or y times y times y. And we can cancel out a pair of x's here, a pair of x's here, and we have a y here and a y here, so let's just cross this out and this out. And we have to change those to the number one, because those are things being divided by themselves. Of course, we have our y here and then a y way over here. So for the numerator, we are left with 1 times 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. And for the denominator, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 x's being multiplied, so we can express that as x to the fourth power. And we have two y's remaining on the bottom, which would be y to the second power, which is what we got when we applied the exponent rule. Now let's see what happens when we apply the exponent rule that says that when you raise a power to a power, you have to multiply the powers together. Well, if you think about it, this entire group of numbers inside is being raised to the second power. So it's like taking everything on the inside and writing it twice. So you have everything in here being multiplied by everything here. So if I were to write it out that way, we could write that as x to the second power times y to the third power times x to the second power times y to the third power. Now what we could do at this point is go back to the exponent rule that says when you multiply like bases, you just add the exponents. So we could take the exponents of the x's and add those together, which would give us x to the fourth power. And then we can take the exponents of the y's and add those together, which would give us y to the sixth power. Now, instead of having to write everything inside parentheses twice and then applying the rule of exponents that says you have to add the exponents when you multiply bases that are the same, what we could have done was simply taken each one of these exponents on the inside and have multiplied it by this 2 on the outside. So we could have taken this 2 and then multiply it by this exponent, and that would give us x to the fourth power. And then we could have taken this 3 and multiplied it by the 2, which would give us y to the sixth power, which is the quick and the easy way. Let's try one more example. Notice this time we have a coefficient. So this coefficient on the inside of parentheses also has to be raised to the third power. 
and 3 to the third power is 27. Now we just write the variable x and multiply this exponent by this exponent. And 3 times 3 is 9. And then we write the variable y and multiply these two exponents together, which is a product of 6. So the quantity of 3x to the third power times y to the second power raised to the third power is equal to 27x to the ninth power times y to the sixth power. And that is how you apply exponent rules in different situations.